Hi there, in this revision video we're going to walk through the four key externalities diagrams. Uh, if you're with AQA you need all four. If you're with Excel, you only need two of them. So first of all, negative production externalities, things like industrial air pollution. The marginal social cost lies above marginal private cost, as shown there. And the gap is the marginal external cost. Now with negative production externalities there is overproduction. Uh, and that leads to a deadweight loss of social welfare equal to the area A, B, C. Social optimum is output Q2. The private optimum is output Q1. There is market failure. With negative consumption externalities for AQA, social benefit lies below private benefit. The consumption of a product reduces benefits enjoyed by third parties. So the benefits to society are less than the benefits from individuals consuming the product. And as a result, if social benefit lies below private benefit, negative consumption externalities lead to overconsumption, Q2 instead of Q1, and hence overproduction. So the private optimum is where is output Q2, the social optimum is output Q1. And the welfare loss is shown by the area A, B, C. With positive consumption externalities, the market price often ignores the extra external benefits from consuming goods and services. Education and healthcare and vaccinations would be good examples. So as a result, there is underconsumption. The private optimum is Q1, where private cost equals private benefit. The social optimum is output Q2. So there is underconsumption. And the area of social welfare loss, because the market output Q1 is lower than the social optimum is the area A, B, C. And then positive production externalities for AQA only. This is where the social cost curve lies below the private cost curve because there are positive externalities in production. Good example, universities making research available as a free public good. So positive externalities shift the social supply curve, MSC, down to the right. The social optimum is therefore at Q1, but the private optimum is Q2, and therefore that leads to a deadweight loss of social welfare, again, equal to the area A, B, C. You only need uh, to study this if you're an AQA student. So there we go, a quick walkthrough of your four externalities diagrams. Thanks for joining in.